So last Friday, uh, a coworker of mine mentioned that she had to go pay her property taxes. And I was like, oh, that's weird. I, you know, I bought my house in February. I haven't seen the first thing about property taxes. I'm sure they're due maybe the end of the year since I hadn't seen them yet. Um, so I texted my mom, because of course she lives in the same city I do. And she was like, oh no, they're due, they're due on the 15th of November, like in a week. It's like, oh dear. So I called up the county tax commissioner and said, y'all, I haven't gotten anything. Um, what's going on with that? And they said, well, the property taxes go to the owner as of January 1. And since I bought my house in February, I didn't receive the, um, the assessment with the appeal window notice or the actual tax bill. Um, so they said, oh, well, we'll send you the tax bill right now. What's your name and address? So I gave them my name and address and they sent me the tax bill. I got that yesterday after I got home from tax elections. Um, <laughs> and it's about a thousand dollars more than the 2013 taxes and I was like that is not acceptable so I called the tax office again and sort of broke down in tears over this extra thousand dollars and she suggested I call the assessor and the assessor said well there's really not a whole lot you can do you know the owner really did you the previous owner really did you a disservice um, not forwarding that to you boy that's just awful I'm so sorry let me have your three thousand dollars so, uh, I ended up, um, I paid it, but it, it, it's, it, it's so frustrating when people don't do what's right. No, the previous owner did not have a legal obligation to forward the things to me, you know, and, and no, I, nobody had a legal obligation to tell me, hey, taxes are due in November, you should really pay attention to that and make sure you get a bill and here's the time when the assessment comes in and here's your little window to appeal and all of that. So, no, nobody had a legal obligation to do that, but you know, ethically speaking, if I got a bill from a house that I sold and and I noticed, oh, wait a minute, this is about $1,000 more than last time, I should really let the owner know so she can, you know, uh, so she can contest this, so she can file an appeal and and not be out the grand. And then when I get the bill, clearly things have not been updated at the records office. Clearly the new owner did not get any information on this. I should really forward this to her so she can pay her taxes on time. No, I, he didn't do anything. He didn't even, he didn't scan it. He didn't take a picture of it. He didn't send a little note to his agent who was his friend, by the way, so it wouldn't have been awkward. Like nothing, nothing. I don't know how people can go throughout life not doing what's right. It's just, it's just pure wanton meanness. It just, it just absolute doesn't affect me, so why should I put forth any sort of effort? Yeah, okay, fine. You don't want to spend the 50 whatever cents it is to mail the thing to me? Fine. Take a picture of it. Take a picture of it and send it to your agent. Have the agent send it to me. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. So not only did you cost me a $5,000, literally guys, $5,000 in plumbing because somebody put something down, down the pipes that they should not have put and it turned into cement. Like $5,000 in plumbing costs a month after I move in. Now you want to cost me an extra $1,000 because you don't want to let somebody know that you got mail that wasn't yours anymore? Seriously? This is a thing that is happening right now? This is the way that you choose to live your life? as a jerk? Fine, fine. If that's how you wanna roll, that's how you wanna roll. But, you know, karma is one of God's greatest inventions and I really hope karma kicks you in the nose, in the nose.